everyone welcome back to my channel as always thank you so much for the support now if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by my name is Ronnie and I live in Calgary Alberta so today's video is all about a challenge so I have a friend on YouTube here she has her own YouTube channel her name is Megan German I would leave her name and her channel name on the description bar so you can check her out so she challenged me to this makeup challenge so it's the makeup trend at the year of your birth so now that was a very difficult thing for me to do being that i was born in the mid 70s it, it was a big challenge because all the pictures i saw were of um, of course caucasian female but i eventually saw one i'm gonna leave here it's in the 19th it, it's a picture from the 1975 well it says it's from the 1975 era so i'm going to like use this as my go-to or like my um look I, i'm going to get i'm going to do and see how that turns out now the funny thing about makeup in the 70s is i'm not sure if they had things like foundation or primer or things like that because i know they always had this luminous um very luminous skin kind of shiny skin like there's so much oil going on very bright oily lip glosses and very thin brows now the problem is i actually wanted to like glue my brows down but then again i said no i can't go through that stress so i'm just gonna like make it as thin as possible as i can so now if you're interested in this video it's going to be a very simple one because I don't want to go out there and do things that may not represent the year very well so I'm just gonna make it very simple I'm not gonna be using foundation or things like that I'm only gonna be using uh, yeah like a skin tint to just you know give me that look like there's some kind of thing on my face rather than just going in with the shadows now I know during that era shadows were like always a monotone kind of look if it's pink all over the eyes pink rosy cheeks you know purple all over the eyes purple pink rosy cheeks and things like that i'm going to try my best and replicate this picture like i said not exactly but my own take on it and let's see how that goes now if you're interested in this video just stay tuned and let's get into it Okay, I didn't prime my face because I don't think there's any any primer was used in the 70s or they, they usually would prime their face in the 70s. I just sprayed the Mario Badesco skincare spray, facial spray on my face and that's all I have. I don't think there was such a fuss about, I don't ever think there was primer and I don't think there was foundation either. So I'm going to do this makeup look without primer or foundation. but. I'm going to use a, a skin or face tint to do my face. So I'm going to use the Sephora Bright Future Skin Tint in the color Walnut. So it's 33 Walnut. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face to see if I can get that uh, canvas or bright look to have other products on. Let's see how it goes. This face tint is a little too bright for me, but then again, I'm, go I'm working with what I have because I think the 70s wasn't about the bright look it had a lot of um, bronziness to it it has a lot of tan they have a lot of tan to their skin that's what I believe or that's my own understanding of what the 70s look is I'm just gonna use my hands to rub it on only God knows how I will end up looking after this <laughs> I hope I don't end up looking like Someone who just came out of the mug. It's a little bit too bright, but like I said, I'm going to use bronzer to darken the skin a bit. Well, it's not, it's turning out okay. It's not that bad. It's actually turning out fine. So it's actually turning out well. Not as bad as I thought it would look. Even though it still looks a bit too light. But then again, like I said, I'm going to use a bronzer to give myself a little bit, a little bit of depth in my face. 
So this is okay. So the next thing I will do is try and let this seep into my skin and dry out a bit. Once it's done, then I'm just going to dust my face up with a little bit of um, powder, which I don't want to do, but I think I have to because of this face tint I put on my face. Now I'm going to try and use a very light powder, Fenty Beauty setting powder, just a little bit to dust all over my face. Now I'm going to focus on my brows. Like I said, my, their brows at the time was a little bit thinner than what we have now. I'm so nervous guys because trying to recreate or replicate something in a different time or, or era that you're not used to is not easy at all. And secondly, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I never went to school for makeup. Makeup is just something I picked up along the line as a teenager and up to my adult years. But Hmm, let's see how it goes. Yes, yeah, so I know they have very arched, like round brows. I'm just trying to see, but thin again. So I'm not going to draw it like my regular brows. We're getting there. <laughs> this one looks good. Hopefully by the time I draw the other one, it doesn't just look like one is going to the south and one is going to the west. Hopefully it won't look like that. I'm going to leave it like this because this is as thin as I can get it. Let me see if I can replicate the same thing on the other side. I don't know how I'm going to get these brows to look exactly alike or at least look like sisters. But I'm trying my best. You know when you don't do something or you've been doing something a certain way for a long time, you tend to be used to that way and not like be able to do it a different way. So that's what I'm facing right now. I don't even know if they are the same. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this, guys. I don't think I can do anything better than this. Because if I go in, it's gonna get wider and thicker. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'll leave it like this and just try and see if I can gel the brows down so they don't look like they're very unruly. So now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. And another thing I was going to say was I'll be using the Living in Color eyeshadow palette. Now this eyeshadow palette, it was actually a gift. Well, I would say a gift, yes. So my friend Megan on YouTube, she did her 100 sub giveaway. And coincidentally and luckily for me, I was the winner of that giveaway. So this is the palette she sent to me with a beautiful makeup purse i don't know where the makeup purse is it should be around here somewhere but a beautiful cute peachy makeup purse that goes with this so i'll be using this palette to do my eye shadow color and the color i'm going to use is it's for you is this one is called oh sultry scene it's called sultry scene it's actually like um lilac because at the back here it shows more of a lilac shade than pink but in the pan it shows more of a pink shade than lilac so I'll be using that color all over my eyelid and again like I said it was the eyeshadows they used there was just a monotone kind of look so it's just one color all over the eyelids as in all over from the inner to the outer if you can look at this picture right here this is exactly how I want it to look just one color all over my eyelid. I'm going to be putting it in a stippling form for now. Then I will blend it out. So it's all over the eyelid. I'm just starting from the inner corners. So I see how it looks. It looks good because it looks really shiny. And that's how the look was in the 70s. So it goes everywhere, all over the eyelid, under the brows, everywhere you can think of. On the crease on the lid, on your brow bone, everywhere. It goes everywhere. So that's the look I'm actually going for. This is really disco time, 70s disco, right? <laughs> it looks good though, but I don't know how it will turn out eventually. I think I'm, I need to put more so that it will really look. Because yes, this shiny kind of look is what I'm going for. Because the 70s is all about the disco era, right? So they had a lot of glitters, shimmers, 
luminous look all over their face so that's what I'm going for and now another thing I noticed in the picture is the eyeshadow actually came down all under the eyes so that's exactly what I'll be doing so this is good like this I'm just gonna do the other eye okay <laughs> Oh my goodness this is funny but it was trendy then so who am I to say it's funny right because I noticed hers has a little bit of deeper shade in like the inner the outer V so I will try and see if I can deepen that shade and I would use the drag as in drag queen gone as in a gone blood okay so I'm gonna leave it like that so the next thing is mascara i noticed they didn't have lashes or she didn't have lashes i'm not going to be putting any lashes i'm just going to be coating my my um eyelashes with mascara i don't think i can get them any thicker than what they are now so i'm just going to move to bronzer because like i said i know there's a, a, a lot of bronzing going on so if you look at the picture again there's a lot of bronzing going on giving depth back to the face so that's what I'm gonna do so I will use another bronzer I have that has a lot of sheen in it black up Paris bronzer this one has a lot of glow glow to it so I'll just use yes exactly so this one has a lot of glow to it it would help give that glowy glowy look so the next thing is to blush my cheek away so i'm going in with my previous place the sahara blush palette volume 2 and i would i think i would use maybe this peach or this coral this peachy one is called lena and the coral is called tau maybe the peachy one to make it a little bit more pronounced that I'm wearing a blush, right? Yep. Dabbing into the coral to give it a little bit of color. My hair is getting in the way. I'm going to wash my hair after this, so I don't really mind if there's all this products on the hair. So I just dipped in the coral just a little bit to make the cheek more pronounced. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm just going to line my lip. We're almost done because I think what el what is left is the lip, the glossy lip. Okay, I think there's a little bit of liner in the eyes because if you can look at her eyes, you can see it's a bit dark. Now, I don't know how this resembles the 70s look, but this is the best I could do. Now, I'm going to just do the lips. Why I like this is so pigmented, so I can make it as dark as I want or as light as I want. So that's just the amount, the right amount, because I'm going to put a whole lot of lip gloss on it and see how I can get that to be, you know, looking like my friend would say that you just add, <laughs> you just add pork meat. That's why your lips are all shiny. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that lip liner to get that red or pinky look more pronounced okay so hmm i think i'm almost there i'm almost done i really don't know how they do it but i'm almost done let me just bronze this a bit okay so i think i should use a little bit of glow a little bit of highlighter what do you think to highlight my nose and my cheek cheekbones and see if it will give me that extra shine because right now the only shine I see is on my eyes so if I do a little bit of highlighter I think that would work so I'm going to use the Juvia's Place uh, the Heroin Glow One Highlighter by Juvia's Place Guys, 
this is about all I can do to this look. I don't know how it looks. I really don't know how. Let me come close. How do you, what do you think? Did I really like get this picture right here? Let me take a picture of myself so I can see what I look like. Okay guys, so this is what I came up with. I don't know how it looks. I, I really can't tell if it really shows or tells that this look was made in the 70s or it belonged to the mid 70s. I have no idea. But if you like it, please just give this video a thumbs up. Now, I'm gonna challenge a couple of friends of mine as well. They have a YouTube channel here. And the very first person I'm challenging is called uh, D Ubani. So her name, is, her, her channel name is D Ubani. And the second person I'm gonna challenge is Kimberly Daly. And the third person is Everything Adeze. So D Ubani, Kimberly Daly, and Everything Adeze. You guys come up with your own look and let me see how that goes for you because I've done my part and I hope it turned out well and you like it. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I want to shout out to Megan German again for starting this challenge. She did a beautiful look. I think hers was in the 80s. She did a beautiful look and she challenged a whole bunch of us. And this is my own rendition of my own look from the 70s. I hope you like it. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please just click on the subscribe button and of course click on the notification bell so each time I post a new video that you'll definitely be notified all right now take care of yourself and stay blessed thank you bye bye